Hello everybody. Just doing the administration to get the uh, stream up and running. Well, with the uh, the links or anything. <clears throat> hello, hello, I'm just uh, updating the thumbnail and doing the admin, so to speak. Just get the um, get the links. Oh, of course, Discord's not working. Good evening, Andy. How are you? I'm just uh, posting the links up now. But Discord's decided not to work, of course, right when I need it to work. How you going? Big night. Guess we'll just wait for Discord to see if it actually opens. Otherwise, no bueno. Um... I have you there, I have you there, that's just the positions which is kind of important, that's the fastest lap, I think I'll have you in the middle tonight, right first thing we're going to do is an oil change. This isn't where you do it. So it's going to be 50 minutes of uh, action. Discord's just not working at all, which is annoying. Just close this and close this. Try it again. At least the car looks alright. Should we give it a car wash too? Make sure it goes fast. <clears throat> alright, car washed. Engine oil changed. And now we're off to see uh, see if the lobbies are up just yet. Hey Mr Baggins, how are you? Good to see you. Good to see you, to see you good. I'm just trying to copy the link across to Discord, but it won't want to open, of course. So maybe I'll just try it on my phone instead and close down the computer. Because I can. Shutting down, which means I need to get my phone. Hey ho, what's up, AK? How you doing? Good to hear you good. So 
so we are, we don't have a room up just yet as d3 is up round four buckles in oh buddy thanks andy you legend <laughs> i was just saying oh i'm gonna have to try and get this uh to work on my phone so um that's one other place i don't have to do it thank you very much that's really helpful mate um i'll just see if i can get it to work from my phone too though because there's a couple of other places i'd like to put it um and it's of course working fine on my phone This one here. And this one here. I think we got one down here. I did have this all set up, but it just um, stopped working. But there you go. All right, we're all done. Thank you. Right, we'll just jump in with uh, Bockel, I think, because we're still waiting. Still waiting for our division to, to pop up. For whatever reason, I'm always in a division that has a, a slow lobby startup. Ah. Awesome, thank you very much. I'm not in his Discord, I need to join it. Andy, you're a legend, <laughs> helping support me. There was a, a bit of a lift-off on, um, on my impressions and stuff on YouTube, so the algorithm's starting to, to work just from all your guys' help with um, posting onto Discord and sharing it amongst your friends, so I really appreciate the work you put in there. Right. So Bocco's in his car. I want to be on mediums. And just get comfy in the chair. Oh, it's comfy as. Let's go for a couple of laps practice while we wait. Oh, Bocco's done a cracking uh, first race there. First race, first qualifying laps, I think. So we're in the 4C and we're around uh, Dragon Trail Seaside. How's the volume guys? Is the um, the voice compared to the car okay or do I need to turn down the car a bit? Oh man, that's excellent. Yeah, it's a tough fast paced circuit isn't it you're always turning there's very little of a straight compared to you turning all the time so well done on that I hope you finished in a good place first time through the dish chicane we're all good uh, yeah I think so because it's, <laughs> it's fans are uh, pretty intense I think Good evening, Nadine. Whoops. It's all right. It's always a warm-up. Good evening, good evening. Just hear how loud it is. It was on easy. Yeah, but it's still an intense race, no less. Yeah, it's not, it's not too loud. Um, I just wanted to know whether the um, car sound and my audio, um, my voice is... Okay, is my voice too quiet? Is it all right? I can always turn myself up a little bit or turn the car down a bit. <clears throat> D3 
team captain put the uh, paint job together for us. Oh, thanks, Nadine. That's that's really good. I ask because um, me and Tim, uh, TJC Gaming, were just playing with the audio levels last night, and I've just had to adjust it so that I can hear the car a little bit more because it was um, a little bit lower in my ear, even though I turned the monitor right up. Well, that's a good thing, Mr. Baggins. I know the picture's a little bit blue because I've got blue LEDs behind the TV and then the uh, steering wheel's blue, TV's right in front of me so I'm a bit blue. <laughs> I'm a Smurf, what can I say? So just a couple of warm up laps and then we'll uh, exit out, hopefully our division um, room is open five minutes or so. <laughs> yeah, sing the song, Nadine. That was uh, an epic fail on the death chicane, but it didn't hit anything, so it could have been worse. Oh, thanks, Marek. That's awesome. Yeah, I'll be hoping to try and get, well, sixth or above, put it that way, because that tends to be my number in the field. Would be quite nice to get a a better than fifth though, maybe a fourth. Podium, oh, awesome. But there is some fast people in Division 2. So in training with our team, we've only been able to get 27 laps done. And um, we did some uh, training, or the team did some training the other day, and some of the guys that are, I'm going to be racing did 28 laps. The guy that I'm in the room with, Boko, he's really fast. He's got the potential to go 28, I think. And it's all about probably sitting in the 147s. <laughs> Thanks, Nadine. I think you're the first person to ever go that far. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, at the end of my video descriptions, there's a, if you got this far, put I'm an I'm a gorilla in the comments yeah <laughs> <laughs> you did too mr. Baggins nice that was a good um, a good death chicane just then So we're not trying to beat Bocco's 145, we're just trying to warm up. <laughs> That's good, I'm here to entertain, mate. 147.3, that's a, a very respectable race pace. Just have a look at the fuel. So, seven laps remaining. Exactly. I like it. Thanks, boys. Men. Oh, cut the corner a bit much there. I'm going to suffer through here now. Had to lift to turn the car. It's a good thing in this car, you just lift the throttle just a little bit and it'll help it rotate. So you can kind of steer with the throttle through the corners. So 145.99 by uh, Bocco, that's a very fast time. Good for qualifying. Go. 
almost keeping at it sort of 195 through there k's an hour full commitment just a little lift on the way in to get the car pointed in the right direction there we go 48.2 not bad either you want to be low 48s, high 47s um, for the duration of the race, no matter what the tyres. So we've got to use all three tyres. So that's pretty full on. So let's go back and we shall see if we've got Div 2 up and running yet. R4, R3... I think this is our one. I'll just have to move me to <laughs> see the title. Really having trouble. This is where the um, screen overlay would really help um, help things out because I can position the camera just a little bit in the right place. So that's GTC round four. So that's D1. That's D3. Bocos R4. Well, I don't know um, whether that's me or not, because is it round two? It's not the right person hosting. Let's jump in and, and find out. <clears throat> I didn't name them very well. I know some of the players that I'll be up against, so I'll soon find out. Is this, no, this is Adam, so this is D4. Wrong room. Don't go there. <laughs> Spockles there. Uh, finished up. Double check this room. No, Boko, Novak. Everybody's in there. So our room is yet to appear. Ah, there we are. DRP Marson. Alrighty, GTTC round four, surviving the death chicane has commenced. So, ERS uh, Nixon, Nixo, and PCR Savitsu, both very fast. So we'll just um, leave the ready up until a few more people have joined, I think. Oh, mate. Mr. Baggins. Crikey. Thanks very much for, for dropping past then. And good job on Brand's Hatch. You're probably worn out enough that you, you sleep well. So have a good sleep, mate. And we'll catch you again uh, the next time I'm streaming, which will be... Um, Monday. Hey, hey. How you doing, Tim? What do you know? We've just been saying goodnight to Mr. Frodo Baggins. So this is the GTTC uh, round number four. 50 minutes we've got uh, fuel times six and tires times four I think it's like that Let's better remind myself of what it is yeah fuel times six um, and tire wear times six so it's going to be an interesting race you've got to do a bit of fuel saving you've got to use all three um, all three tires 
Hey, no, all good, man. No problem. I hope you cleaned up your room last night, my friend. So just going to go out on mediums. A little bit of a practice. Hello. Hey, <laughs> thanks, mate. Thanks. Hello, Kabmustian. How are you? We got this. <laughs> you did get in trouble. I told you. <laughs> it's all good. It was worth it, right? I'm racing on my uh, PRT Shadow account tonight. So this is my Polish account that I started GT7 Journey on. So I've got one billion cars that I don't want. Uh, so so looking forward to selling cars, and hopefully that is not far away. I don't even care if I get much money for it. I just want them gone out of my profile. <laughs> Yeah, I know, me either, Nadim. It's the same thing. He's everywhere. Hey, how are you, Mr. BRT? Biawi? What do you know? Good to see you. Haven't seen you in a long time. <laughs> Don't be sorry, it's great. We know if you're there, it must be half decent. Hey, Vines, how are you, buddy? Good to see you. Evening. Just doing some practice laps. The event will kick off and we'll do, it's basically an out lap and one quality lap. So if you mess it up, you're through. Doesn't matter too much because it's a um, 50 minute race, but you know, you want to qualify as well as you can. car I like so much louder. Yep. Good afternoon Alto, how are ya? Um, the car might be a bit loud so just let me know if the audio is off because I can always turn my mic up or make the um, car come down a bit. I just slightly adjusted it from yesterday because in my ears I couldn't really hear the car. <laughs> Sounds good. You're not an idiot mate. You're making good observations and if it doesn't sound right I want to know. Any feedback's good feedback in my opinion. Constructive criticism is always good. It's how you learn. Aha, I get ya. Yeah, this car doesn't sound like much anyway. I mean, it's not the greatest sounding thing. Thanks, Biawe. <laughs> yep. I think all the YouTube streamers should um, get together and uh, have the same audio settings. It's the Alfa Romeo 4C Group 4. So it's a bit of a gutless wonder, really. Hey, TMK, what do you know? <laughs> Let's dance. We're just doing a bit of a warm up before the uh, session gets started for qualifying. So in this race it's going to be 50 minutes and we have to use all three tyres.
exactly right. <laughs> me too, <laughs> me too, Lee Sue. <laughs> Your kids are awesome. Lee Sue, I'll try and do my best, mate. This is the death chicane and we've got crazy ERS Nixon in here, Mr. 28 lap man. And that's the fastest, a 45.5. I've never seen that before, so... Right, we've got two more minutes, and then it's reset till um, qualification. So just do the first couple of corners, and then go back into the pits, chuck on the soft tyres. No worries, Andy. Thank you very much for sharing the Discord. Um, across the couple of channels. I've got to get my my pause into TMK's Discord. Nah, it's the slow one, group four. Blech. Hi bye. <laughs> so smooth. And another life I could be a radio announcer. I've got the face for radio, so, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, also, you know what's up. Right, we're about to get our lobby reset. I just want to get through the dish chicane one more time, just so I can keep my eye in. Little tap there. <laughs> really? That's classic. The smooth tones. And this is straight off the headset too, so it's not run through any flash filter. Can't change the car, but I can change to softs. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you very much. But a, a strange accent. <laughs> uh, who's here? Oh, my friend isn't here. I thought he would be. 100% smooth. Smooth as butter. Smooth as cream. Not even any whiskey. Just lemon, lemon drink. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Mate, I'd kill for a little bit deeper voice, you know, that really good movie voice. <laughs> New Zealand, yes, yeah, yeah. The word, yes, deck which sounds like a, another inappropriate word, like a sausage. A manly member. <laughs> um, just waiting for the peeps to... So much for the, the two minutes and loud and low. There you go. Oh, baby. Yeah, you know, like uh, the trailer... The, the movie trailers next next time next time on Gran Turismo 7 <clears throat> see I can't even do it hey Slip hey Slip and everyone hey Scott why don't I just save up my uh, say my own name yep talk about getting a big deck a massive deck yep if you if you want to hear somebody's accent really well, then you say, "Say to me a bowl full of raspberries," and you'll find out. All right, reset weather, and we're gone. The bigger the better. That's the one, Scott. <laughs> he is right though. Always protect it. Yep. Bigger the better. Alrighty. So we just have to wait until they tell us we can go 
out because they like to do a little bit of cinematics. There's a Polish commentator that commentates each of the, these races. Um, and it's actually helpful for me to stream because um, then the stewards can watch back my stream if I'm behind someone or something happens. A rolling R in your English. Oh, yeah, yeah. Invercargill. In New Zealand, the people from Invercargill say Invercargill because they've got an R. They're pirates, of course. So you might be a pirate too. Yeah, all the usuals are here, Scott. Start quali. That's it. Boom. Done. Okay. Let's see if we can do a good lap. <laughs> and I've just gone out on the wrong tyres again. You saw me change that, but it's obviously when it reset, it changed again. Thanks, man. It's going to be tough, I can tell you that. Who's behind me? GXF. I shall have fun. Mega fun. The grind is real, Mr. Scott. Thanks, mate. It's literally one warm-up lap, one uh, fast lap. P1. <laughs> okay, no pressure. I'm just gonna spin and kill myself on the first lap. <laughs> That's what you get for not concentrating, I guess. Oh, the Aussie account, yep. So, don't worry about the death chicane, just worry about me bashing the, the, <laughs> the corners. <laughs> yeah, so a fast lap, a really fast lap is 145, you know. Um, 146 low is good. Thanks, Mr. Biawe. I hope to do the team proud, apart from spinning on the very first opening lap. Yeah, I mean, put it this way, I think a decent lap is in the 46s, and then A 45 from there. So everybody's Polish here, obviously. This car is a little bit odd because it's got a strange torque curve in a way. Like right up the top of the revs, it loses a little bit. But um, just kind of keep it in fifth down the straights, use lots of fuel. Just try and keep it smooth. <laughs> the bad word. It's like see you next Tuesday, only worse actually. You'll have to look back and see what numbers you did then. A little bit slow through there. the bad words. What about Pivo? Beer. Oh, just tagged the wall. <laughs> Didn't hurt our speed too much because we got a good, good amount of speed through there.
46.7 so not, not particularly fast. So a half decent um, half decent time is really in the low 46s and then anybody in the 45s is really going well so we're in P6 so far I think that's everybody so P6 not the greatest starting position but it's a long race and the guys in front are quick so you know this is part and parcel of the strategy that you come up with Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's not a bad thing because you're so reliant on your um, because you're so reliant on slipstream really to get you through. Looks like some people are going to start on hards. I'm going to start on mediums. they're going out on track but they are I think they would go out on track so they can see what tires we've got so I think that just means stay in the pit does it not sure what that means. Uh, just about to begin really. Don't know why everybody's out. Start race. Okay. Sorry, sometimes I get a bit mixed up about what's going on because I don't read Polish that well. I only know a few words. So it looks like the race is going to start. We just need to um, keep our foot on the brake. It's about 27. Um, if anybody goes 28, they're an animal. So we're on mediums. This is all good. Thanks Alto, let the games begin, so we're off, we've got a half decent start here. Yeah, 50 minutes, so it's 27 odd laps, we have to use hard, mediums and softs. So I'm starting with mediums, and I want to do 11 laps. Just using a bit too much fuel at the moment but that's on purpose just to get the position somebody's hit the wall already got a slipstream there so we've, we've done all right first lap Yeah, I mean this this one's not too bad. I think because we're all in the same country, it's it's worked out well, you know. Um, so even though there's PS4 and five players, yeah, it's pretty smooth. I think it does help when you're all in the same country for sure.
time, just want to keep an eye on our fuel. So yeah, 10 on medium. Yeah, exactly. I've tried an account in uh, Asia Pacific region and used a New Zealand server. Or I'm, I'm guessing I put, set my country as New Zealand because hello, that's my home country. And <laughs> I couldn't even really get started on a race. Like I could qualify, I could enter the room, I could even start the race, but then that was it. <laughs> Just trying to catch these guys slipstream, make it a bit easier. Some of them are on hards here, so we just have to be careful that they don't hold us up too much. But they'll only do six laps. So this is the fun thing about this race is the, the strategy involved. We will have uh, some changes of position, that's for sure. And the famous death chicane is really where it's at, you know. Right, need to be starting to save a bit more fuel now. Just want to get into the slipstream a little bit better. There we go, that should do it. GXF behind us is going well. Just staying in our slipstream. So PCR Sivitsu is a very fast player. I think he's on PS4, so that might be why the little bit of lag in his um, gameplay, so to speak. It's hard when uh, cars are doing that because um, you're not 100% sure where they are on track and. bit slow through there I'm gonna lose a bit of ground you need to be in the 190s to be really successful through there so oh, we've just lost the slipstream I think dang it <laughs> Hi Tyler, yeah, it's the concentration phase too, you know. <laughs> Especially when you got somebody 0.2 of a second behind you, so. I think I do a little butt clinch every time I go through there too. Yeah, just losing touch a little bit here. Yeah, it should be um, 5 to 10 k faster through there, so just losing a little bit. Again, that's chicane. <laughs> that was close to the wall, but we held lots of speed then. So we got. 
all of five, all of six, all of seven, all of eight, all of nine, all of ten, then eleven. So we're bang on the money for our fuel at the moment. In fact, we can probably use a little bit more. Just try and get back onto Sabitsu. Just by changing gear, sometimes you can just get the nose to pull in, so save fuel and avert a disaster by just changing gear a bit earlier. Oh, I just clipped it. Just got to stay where I am. Gonna happen. First minor death at the death chicane. Oh, thanks, Tyler. You'll learn how not to go through the death chicane soon. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, so that that's hurt us quite a bit. Almost uh, a second and a half slower. That's the di what the difference will be in this race. Really, is the guys that can drive the whole whole race without getting smashed on the chicane. They'll definitely put in the best time, you know. You just have to accept that with the death chicane there you're going to hit it once in a while and you just hope you clip it like that that's probably the worst that I want it to be you know just a little lift there to help it turn yeah I guess I've done <laughs> yeah okay I'll give it a go I watched a, I still can't remember the guy, I'll have to find his name, that he literally commentates like he's Murray Walker outside the race, but he's in the race, driving the car, very entertaining, I think he's playing ACC, so, a little bit of understeer there, and almost a lift into the wall, <laughs> that can happen too. Chewing up fuel a little bit much. That's okay. 11 to 10, I'm okay with. Just want to try and get back on the slipstream. Alright, and here we are for our lap of Dragon Trail Seaside with the death chicane at the end that nobody wants to get killed at. Coming down here, sixth gear. We're going to break just as the curve stones start into third. Just tuck it in, don't worry about the kerb, and try and turn early for the exit. Out onto the kerbs, go into uh, fourth. <laughs> Thanks, Brigsby. Not going to go over, like straddle that kerb, and down into third for the minor chicane here. Minor chicane, minor hairpin. Up over the hill, change early into fifth. Come down here, a little dab on the brakes before the black line, turn in early, don't worry if you mess it up too bad because you'll carry the speed through the rest of the chicane. Just want to make sure that you don't hit the tops of the curbs because they'll bounce you off, change into sixth and off we go down the hill. And there's a little V mark on the road coming up just now. You just brake there, down to third, into second if you haven't got your nose turned in, accelerate out into fourth, coming through to the death chicane. The secret here is only two wheels on each of the curves. 
keeps the car nice and smooth. Little lift, two wheels, tuck it in, and there we go. We're through the chicane at 198. Oh, I see. That's what happens. Into sixth, just before the 100. Change down into third. Tuck it in. There's a little uh, downward sort of hill in that corner that you can accelerate from. And away you go. Over the kink. And we've done a lap of Dragon Trail. <laughs> How was that? <laughs> all right, we've got all of eight, all of nine, all of ten. Oh, we're not even doing that bad on fuel, so that's good. We'll just save a little bit because we're not getting the slipstream. Yeah, I think they're pretty good too. It's much easier to do a uh, over the top rather than while you're driving, but you know, give it a go. Why not? So we're just settling into a fifth place here now. So the idea at the top of that chicane is basically to try and keep it above 170 on the way in, but not not ridiculously into the 180s or something because you'll just hurt yourself. So here's that V. So have any of you tried um, Dragon Trail recently in an MR car? Ah, no. That was a big crash. We just lost the back end on the way in. It happens. <laughs> Thanks, Biawe. You type just as I crash, but there you go. It's going to happen. It wasn't horrendous, horrendous, but it was bad enough. Yeah, that was uh, heading for a spin, so at least we just uh, hit the nose. That, that'll cost us, yeah, we're in 47s now, 55, so that's 7 seconds lost with the other one, that's another 2 seconds, so we've lost 9, nine seconds so far. Yep, eyes forward, carry on, it's bound to happen to the people in front as well, you know, and if not, well, they're just better. <laughs> Oh, that's horrible, isn't it? When you have to be um, trying to find fifth, and uh, sorry, you're all the way up the gears, and you have to try and find reverse from from where you're at. Yeah, food time. Well, I already gave you a show in a way because I just crashed at the dish you came. It wasn't even a clip; it was just unsettled uh, on the way out. Lost the back end and couldn't bring it back. If I kept counter steering it would have snapped and then spun perhaps so it was better to kind of just put it into the wall. Alright, let's try that again. <laughs> A little bit wussy through there now. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Eating food. What do you got, mate? CC's going to share some food with us all. Right, our tyres are starting to go a little bit. Right, we're point 0.9, so we've got two more laps to go. What a burger! I think the big thing when you're racing, I mean, this is a really highly competitive thing, this one. We all get a bit nervous driving this, but... Um, you know, D and D session in two minutes. All right, good luck there, mate. Have a good game. May the odds forever be in your favour. Oh, 
There you go, 174 at the start there. It's just a little quick to take the next right, but a little lift. Homemade chips. Oh, nice. Thanks very much for popping by, Tyler. It's awesome. Awesome to see you. And good questions. I hope we gave good answers. Good entertainment. One point one laps of fuel left, so we're a little bit short, I think. Well, I'd be two seconds behind GXF if I hadn't had those accidents, so... Bag of hot ones, habanero, mate. You are talking my language. I like hot stuff, eh? Alright, so we're going to go on to hards now, and we're going to do just six laps on hards. So interestingly the guys, there, there is another strategy here that works reasonably well which is a 999. Call the police, call the ambulance, 999. But nobody's done it, obviously, so you'll start to see people come in now. Or they may be on hards and just stay out and then do, uh, what is it, eight, eight and eight. <laughs> yeah, I think just jump in a car and put your hazard lights on and go for it, right? Alright, we just want to get into the pits, so I've just turned it down to six and I want to... Here we go, we should run out just as we go in. Alright, so we're on to hards and we're only going to fuel up for six laps. Domestic terrorists, i.e. the police. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you just see horror stories of police brutality and then you have the opposite, right, which is just some fantastic police work, um, really protecting and serving. So it's a shame there's just these two crazy variables. It's so just going slightly over, go to 60%. Just been overtaken there um, by two cars, short fueling a little bit more than me perhaps, so they might only do uh, five laps. So by me doing six laps on hards, it means that um, I can do ten laps on softs. Yeah, that's not good Alto, never good to hear that. Just uh, be careful, <laughs> they're the ones with guns. <laughs> there's uh, knowing your rights and sticking up for yourself and then there's potentially getting in a dangerous situation which is ridiculous to say when you're with police that are supposed to protect and serve that they're the ones who you have to be afraid of actually. Especially if you're a person of colour or a foreigner. 
unfortunately it just still exists. Yeah. Got the ninja ninja moves. just reading the car out just a little bit more than what we did on the mediums because uh, we want to try and use up the extra fuel that we put in and try and get the um, extra pace in there <laughs> the benefit of doing hards now is that um, we've got a light car and while the temperature's cooled off, so to speak, on track, and I don't know whether this really makes a difference, but um, it should be warm enough to get the cars up to temperature. And nuts, don't forget the nuts, mate. Get them in the love plums. If Cherry Bomber was here, we could say get them in the cherries. <laughs> Sounds like it, my friend. I did some kung fu classes uh, as part of my training, you know, sort of, what do they call it, cross-training a little bit. That was really helpful. I felt a lot better and definitely helped me in the, um, in the nightclub a couple of times. He's going to use my um, my slipstream. Yeah, it is sad that you've had to learn that, or feel like you've had to learn it. It's no problem, mate. Happy to be uh, behind you and get some slipstream. Just helps my cause. You see just dipping a wheel on the inside there really does help. Thought he was going to completely lose it then. So he might be on hards as well, just pushing harder than I am. So then coming at the end of 17. Two wheels over the kerbs, nice and smooth. Hey DMC, I'm in the race of my life through the death chicane at Dragon Trail. 4C Group 4, Alpha. I said that all backwards, but you'll understand. And this is the Polish National Championship Round 4. Oh mate, that's heaps. Was that good for your back, um, Brigsby? A little bit slow on these tyres. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Especially don't get kicked in the back, right? In training. With the old live sparring. Yeah, just not quite on the pace with these um, hard tyres. They are difficult to get to work. Mate, 
You guys are lethal weapons. <laughs> Good one, combustion. Yeah, I've done SQL. Visual basic. Kung Fu. Hong Kong Fu, right? Forty-eight two. There you go. So the um, hard tyres have warmed up enough. Now we're starting to get the the times that we need, but just off the pace, just to begin with. Just got to do another couple of laps like that for sure. Sixteen seconds off the front. We've uh, lost unfortunately nine seconds to uh, the De Chicane so far. Oh, wrestling and swim team. Jeez, you did a lot. Busy man. <laughs> Drunken Kung Fu. I didn't even know there was a thing called that. So you guys must be um, watching Kung Fu Panda. Five miles a day. Nice. Fit fella. That's what we'll call you. No, I haven't. So we're coming in at the end of this lap and we should have 0.5 fuel. There we go, finally got that corner. There's lots of different styles, isn't there? I guess um, there's lots to learn from each of those styles too. That's why I'm pretty impressed with um, mixed martial arts, MMA, well, UFC I guess you'd call it now, or whatever. I think they're pretty talented chaps. Good at boxing, good at kickboxing, good at uh, jiu-jitsu, wrestling, all of those. Random Aikido. Ah. Ninjutsu. Did you ever get to use like throwing stars and stuff like that? Right, we're on to softs and we're just going to take full full fuel because we want to push and push hard. Full fuel, maybe not full fuel, we want 90% fuel. So, oh, it's 10 laps though, so yeah we need fuel full fuel we've already got 0.5 sitting in there 0.4 sitting in there so it means that our pit stop will be a little bit quicker which is good 
sorry, I've missed a few comments, but you know, I am driving in a championship. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going out at 80%, that's for sure. Right, out we go. Four foot nine and full of trouble. Right, we dropped to ninth now. <laughs> that's all right. Far out, that's pretty epic. Ever since you're 13, so you developed pretty soon. I was a late bloomer, and I was a lightweight for a great many years. It wasn't until my middle age that I actually started to put on some pounds in my 30s. Just had one of those could eat anything type thing. I was six foot finally by the time I was um, 18, 17 and a half. Yeah, 17. Somebody's left already. Twenty nine. Nice. Skinny. Okay, those others are pitting, so we should get a bit back our position to P6, 7, P8. seven now oh, so we've lost a spot so strategy hasn't quite worked out in our favor but that's more to do with the fact that I lost nine seconds uh, earlier in the race just having a couple of wee brushes I think I'm 33 34 waist now Six foot four was yeah. I wanted to be six foot two or six foot four. Guys on my swimming team that I swam with were six four, six seven. One was six eight. Legend. I was this little fella next to them. They reckoned that if you wanted to be a world record holder in swimming. You'd have to, uh, for the men's freestyle anyway, you'd have to be six foot six. So I wasn't going to get that. Alright, so I got eight laps, so I'm just going to start revving the car out. Need to use up some of this fuel. Whew, that's a twig, alright. I don't even know how that happened. There you go. Lost some more time. 6-9, nice. Work on the police force, does he? <laughs> Teacher's math. Everybody be scared. Try fastest lap. Yeah, right, look at that. 45-6. I don't think so.
at best I'd be able to do a 45 8 or something oh, that's good being comfortable is the main thing in life really I don't know what happened up at that chicane that's bothering me now because I can understand having a wee whoopsie through the death chicane but up there I'm normally pretty good so so all of 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 27 so we've got 0.5 more than we need Yeah, fair call. I only really work in kilos, but I know that if you're getting towards 200 pounds, you're getting a bit heavy. <laughs> and I know that if a, a, a woman is uh, close to 100 pounds, they're twigs, unless they're really short. Annoying phone calls. Yep. You're a trim weight. You're in, at your fighting weight, Briggs. There we go, we almost got fast this lap. Not. <laughs> 46 5 is good though. It's better than our qualifying, ironically, because we've got less fuel on board. Went through the death chicane at lightning speed too, so. down on how much I I drank of beer now it's just once in a blue moon whereas it used to be almost every day not a good sign and I'm supposed to be Polish so I should be drinking vodka Białe should <laughs> back me up there <laughs> Zabrówka that's quite nice. Oof, very close there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Blue moon. That's pretty awesome of you, Briggs. Beer was a bit of a crutch for me. I was stressed at work and it's kind of my time out. Have a bit of a laugh. Vodka. Oh yeah. Awesome moonshine, Biawe. I know you know. I used to smoke when I was younger. When I was 21, strange time to start, but I was in a club with all my friends and every single one of them at the table was smoking. So I said, well, better give me a smoke so I can have a filter in my mouth instead of just breathing your secondhand smoke.
Yeah, fair call, Briggs. Bet you're sick of it by now. Absolutely, Biawe. through there. Well, it's slowly catching, we've taken two seconds out of Matthew. Right. All of 24, all of 25, all of 26, all of 27. So that's basically what I'm counting on. And we've got 0.3 in reserve, so we can keep going relatively hard. Do you like how I have to count on my fingers to work out how much fuel I've got left? that up and right down on speed. That could cost us quite a lot of time there. Just try and make up for that on the straight here. Oh, somebody's had a death. Commands, commands, commands. Homemade wine. Oh yeah, mead's nice. I got some for my birthday last year. It was really nice. And uh, mum makes a Nalefka here. I've got a couple of bottles just uh, now two years old. Probably open them in another couple. Very nice. Right, two laps to go. Yeah man, it's real good. Right, can we get Sabitsu? Got to get through the chicane. Oh no, we've had a death. Well, we're up a place. So we're now in seventh. Hummingbird food. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I bet. That happened to me with some moonshine. I think I had six shots. 
from uh, Dad's friend who came over because I helped fix his car. Six shots and I was a bit, ooh, man, that hit me hard. It was rocket fuel, all right. Last two laps, I think, team. Coming up to last lap now. We've had a wee death there. Just got enough fuel to get home and we're in the youtuber sixth place so let's try and at least hold this i think it's a bit too out of out of gas perhaps A lot of lag here. Try and get into fifth, that would be awesome. lag is really bad. I don't know whether I actually hit him or not. No damage to my car. Nice. He just brake checked me in the middle of the corner. <laughs> Thanks of it too. Ah oh well. There you go. We survived but didn't survive the death chicane. And we run out of fuel, so we might get past the line. No, we made it. <laughs> oh well, there you go. We we might have been able to take him through the um Yeah, yeah, so that's to uh, most races he's the one who lags so unfortunately either he got his line wrong or he purposely brake checked me but um, whatever it was it was in the middle of the chicane where you don't have your foot on the brakes that's where you're supposed to have uh, full power so well done him well played <laughs> anyway it is what it is it's a bit of a tough race that one to do the whole thing so we qualified 6th, finished 7th, that hasn't been a bad race. Yes, exactly Alto, exactly. That could have been, uh, if I didn't get him out of the uh, chicane, it was into the next corner, it looked like he was running out of fuel, but then I may have run out of fuel too, because I ran out of fuel just before the line, so there you go. 7th is 7th, all good. 50 minutes and 6 seconds, that's a very fast race time. And that's close to my best I think for um, a race time anyway so that was that was tough so we've got ERS GXF SRC ESR PCR yeah seventh thanks man GF good game <laughs> um yeah, that was interesting, wasn't it? 
can see that you know nine seconds that would have put me into fifth um, ahead of Phoenixian um, and close to SRC Matthew. So those little mistakes really did cost me in the end. Um, they weren't that little. Uh, nine seconds is a bit of a thrashing, and then I lost another second, didn't I? Also, so there you go. Ten seconds, and I could have been right behind uh, and into P5. So there you go. Girlfriend. <laughs> Thanks, Biaweb. Unfortunate finish there. I could have um, got one one place higher, perhaps, but uh, that's the way the cookie crumbles. So. Fifth was on the cards, but where we got seventh, can't be too upset. I had fun. It's a it's an intense lobby, you know. This is like racing all your A plus people. People have practiced this one race almost for three weeks now, I think. Um, so pretty epic. Thanks for the race. Congratulations. And see you again. How about that? Nice one. Good work. Whew. I finished. <laughs> you switched on. That's for sure, aren't you? So good game everybody, good game. Thanks for coming along and watching this bad boy. I think that I'm not going to, he didn't give me time to save the replay but it's being streamed and we're not gonna put anything else on there. Yep, don't worry, see, see you on Discord. Yep, I am a pit bull. <laughs> Unfortunately I didn't get further up the ranks but you know, it was down to the last uh, quarter of a lap. Oh. New, a dating online. Interesting. Get rid of that. <laughs> you know we, you know you're getting maybe semi good because the dating apps start coming in. Somebody block that. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm not going to do any more racing because I think that's enough. Two two days in a row. Did a big long stream last night, three and a half hours. I, I really. Had a great time uh, last night. Yeah, when you know you've made it when the bots hit you. Yeah, absolutely, mate. Thank you to you guys for supporting me, and thanks for coming along and watching my crazy, uh, crazy race tonight through the dish cane. Sorry I didn't put up a little bit more of a fight there, but uh, you know those are the cards you dealt, and I, I did my best. I did my best. I can do better, but you know, we'll get there um, one day. That's just part and parcel of practice, practice, practice. So we will see you again soon. Please, if you're not already subscribed to Brigsby, could you give him some love? Um, and if you, uh, if the other guys are still in the chat, there's Vines, TJs. Um, all it costs you is a click on the on the button, and then you're good. Uh, same with Scott. These guys are all my mates uh, online, and they support me all the time. And just by clicking a subscribe button for them really helps them out and obviously subscribe to me. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'd really like to see these guys get some more subscribers so they can join in the fun and get the get the bots. <laughs> All right. Thanks very much, everybody. We'll see you again soon. It'll be probably Monday now because uh, I've done a done my dash. I will see if I can come up with some uh, some clips or something. But um, otherwise. See you on Monday. Have a great weekend. Good afternoon, good evening, and good night. See you later. Thanks again for showing up. <laughs>